Are you considering moving to Boynton Beach and wondering what can I buy for $350,000? Well, on today's video, I'm going to show you three options and we're getting started right now. I'm Palm Beaches Paul, your local realtor and guide to the Palm Beaches, and welcome back to paradise. So the real estate market's pretty crazy right now. Homes are getting multiple offers, over asking price offers, bid wars, it's just a crazy time. And right now, the state of Florida has about a thousand people moving here a day. So it's making it pretty competitive. So what I wanted to do in this video was give you an idea of what you could buy if your budget's around $350,000. So I'm going to show you three different properties today. One's going to be a 55 and older community, single family home. Another one's going to be a town home, which is a newer construction. And then the last one will be another single family home, but with no HOA. Just to give you a ballpark idea of what $350,000 will get you here in Boynton Beach. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you can get notified of all my latest videos. I make a new video about once a week and it's all about living the Florida lifestyle here in paradise. All right, so let's get started. In full disclosure, all these properties I'll be showing you today are listed with other brokerages, but I am a licensed broker associate now with Keller Williams Innovations. I changed companies this week in front of the KW family. Hello to all of my KW associates out there. And I can help you buy or sell anywhere in the state of Florida. All right, so let's get to the homes. All right, so the first home that we're checking out today is in Valencia Lakes here in Boynton Beach. This is a 55 and older community. These homes were built by GL Homes. You may remember that name if you watched my video uh, about a week ago called Boca Bridges. I'll put a link to that right here. But anyway, this particular model is priced at $350,000 and it's just under 2,000 square feet under air. It's a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. Now, one of the things about living in a 55 and older community is that they do offer a lot of amenities. The HOA for this particular community is $542 a month, but they do a whole lot. There's obviously a clubhouse and they have a pool and they have a fitness center and they have games and activities because in these 55 and older communities, most of the people tend to really enjoy staying here within the community and getting involved with their neighbors and just having a good time and hanging out. Um, some of them have a really, really good time at some of these communities that I've been to. And I was just talking to one of the neighbors and he said the same thing here, that everyone on this street knows each other and they kind of help each other. So it's just a nice place if you're looking to retire and uh, or looking for a winter home and you want to be in a 55 and older community, then Valencia Lakes might be a community for you. Now, something to remember, a lot of these communities have what they call a capital contribution. So for this property or this community, for instance, they have a three times the monthly HOA, a one time capital contribution. So you do have to pay that at closing and then you still have your regular monthly HOA. So um, something that you want to look for if you're buying in a 55 plus community. Um, this is not uh, a membership equity community like a country club. This is a 55 and older community. So there is no membership to live here but there is a monthly HOA and a one-time capital contribution. So you can see this is a pretty nice house for $350,000. You get stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, vaulted ceilings. As I said, uh, about 2,000 square feet under air. You got a nice little patio back here. And a two-car garage. And you get this nice size master bedroom with these big bright windows, dual closets, dual walk-in closets, and your master bathroom. All right, so that's a pretty nice uh, three bedroom, two bath, single family home in a 55 and older community. If you think you'd be interested in living in a place like Valencia Lakes or any of the other 55 and older communities that we have here in Boynton, I'd be happy to show this to you. Okay, let's get ready to go to our next property. This one is going to be a townhouse. It's newer construction, built about three years ago by Lennar Homes. I actually just sold one of these for some of my clients about four months ago. 
and uh, this is called Cambria Park. These are townhomes. Most of these have impact windows, stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, and they're also in the $350,000 price range, and we're gonna head over there right now. All right, so we are at our next community, which is Cambria Park by Lennar Homes. These are townhomes, and they were built about three years ago, four years ago, so they're newer construction, and most of the units here are either three bedroom, two bath, or four bedroom, three bath uh, townhomes, two-story townhomes. They have upgrades like uh, impact windows, stainless steel appliances, and granite countertops. This is a really good option if you want a house that has pretty much all the new amenities, uh, you know, everything new roof and all that, but you can't quite afford uh, a brand new single family home, then Cambria Park would be a good option for you. I sold one of my client's properties here about four months ago. Theirs was a four bedroom, nicely updated, and uh, I sold that for $390,000. Wait, don't lock me out. No! Bummer. Now this is a gated community, and unfortunately, the code that my client who used to live here gave me uh, that would get you through the gate doesn't work anymore. They must have changed it. So I can't go inside and show you the property. But lucky for you, when I sold the property, I did make a video of the community uh, riding my bike around. So I can show you a little bit of what the community looks like. And I got some footage inside of what their house was. So Cambria Park has townhomes, like I said, they're two-story townhomes. Most of them are around 1,700 to 1,800 square feet under air. Um, newer construction built by Lennar Homes, one of the better builders here in South Florida. And uh, like I said, it's, only, it's a brand new community. It's only going on four years old. They've got a swimming pool and a little playground. Um, your HOA is only $122 a month, and that covers your cable, sewer, and trash. So, uh, you know, you're responsible for your lawn care. Um, but it's nice, they have sidewalks in there, and it's, it's just a nice uh, townhouse community. So, you know, if you're looking for something in the $350,000 price range, and you can't, you know, maybe you want something that has a new, newer roof, and, you know, pretty much new kitchen, new floors, everything, you know, something that's only four, three to four years old, then this might be an option for you. Um, because looking for the same thing in a single family home, with the square footage and upgrades is definitely gonna cost you up in the 400,000 price range. Now, one of the really nice things about living here at Cambria Park is that you are literally on the Boynton Beach, Delray Beach border. So it's basically just down the road and you're now in Delray Beach and you're only about 10 minutes away from Atlantic Avenue and the beaches of Delray Beach. So you're conveniently close to everything with nightlife and dining and you're right here in Point Beach, so the taxes are a little better than in Delray Beach, but you're close to everything that Delray Beach has to offer. So if you're interested in Cambria Park, let me know. All right, we have one more property to go look at. This is gonna be a single family home in a non-HOA community. I get a lot of people who ask me, hey, you know, I have a boat or I have a commercial vehicle. I don't like HOAs. Can you help me find a house? Now I will tell you, it is quite difficult to find uh, a home without an HOA in this area of Boynton Beach, but um, there are a few communities and uh, I'm gonna go show you one of those right now. All right, so here we are at the last neighborhood. This is a single family home, non-HOA. This particular property is actually under contract already. I think it went under contract in like four days and uh, it was priced at $325,000. But I wanted to let you guys take a look at what $325,000 could buy you. So we're gonna go inside and check this one out. All right, man, that AC feels good. So this particular house is a three bedroom, two bath, um, about 1,676 square feet under air. Is priced at $325,000. As I said, it's under contract. It went under contract in like four days. Um, and it's pretty
pretty nicely updated. You got some granite countertops, tile floors, uh, kind of open concept. Uh, an older house built in the uh, mid 70s, 1976. Um, got like a patio area that looks like at one time it was open and they closed it in. And then you got your bedrooms all stacked up on the other side. So uh, let's go take a look. Bad property for $325,000. I mean, that was the asking price. I don't know if that's what it went for. Um, you'll be able to find that out in about a month when it goes on the uh, property appraiser's website for what it closed for. But uh, yeah, got a pretty nice backyard. Lawn needs to be cut, but you know, the house is vacant. Um, it's spent. Uh, this property is on septic and well, so uh, some of these non HOA communities, especially some of the older ones that are here in South Florida. Um, you do want to make sure if you don't want to deal with a septic tank and you don't want to deal with well water because then you need to have a water filter um, or the water just tastes nasty, then you do want to make sure that all your utilities are on city sewer, city water. So, but uh, yeah, $325,000 here in Boynton Beach, you're close to the mall, you're close to I-95, they're centrally located, um, not a bad price, nice looking home inside, uh, a few touch-ups here and there, some of the windows have been updated, some of the windows are older. But uh, all in all, not a bad uh, house. All right, so that was three different properties, around $350,000. The last one was $325,000. But if you're interested in moving to uh, Boynton Beach, reach out to me, leave me a comment down below, and I'll be happy to get you some information on finding a property here in Boynton or anywhere here in Palm Beach County. You can also click the links at the end of this video to see some of my other neighborhoods and videos I've done about other cities. But I have one last stop, as uh, I like to do, I like to promote local businesses in my videos, and I happen to be at one of the great breweries that we have here in the city of Boynton Beach, Copper Point. So I'm going to go inside, pick up a six pack, and head on home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you next week.